They made me a killer. That is just one chilling line and a note left behind by the Michigan State campus shooter. Tonight, we are getting a look at what happened minute by minute as terror swept through the campus. Good evening, and thanks so much for joining us here at 5. I'm Christy McDonald. I'm Kimberly Gill. Today, Michigan State Police released a trove of information in the shooting investigation. Everything from that note to a detailed timeline, starting with those first shots fired, to a map showing where all the 911 calls were coming from. Sean Lay is live in East Lansing to help take us through all of this new information. Sean. Kimberly and Kristen, let's also get right to that letter, presenting it in a sensitive way, but it begins, my name is Anthony McRae, and then details a long list of grievances. Anthony McRae's own writing is chilling, giving us an inside look at why a person may turn into a school shooter or mass shooter. McRae had no connection to Michigan State University, but he wrote the day before the deadly shooting on campus, quote, I will be shooting up MSU. Over and over again, McRae writes, they herded me, not specifying who they are. McRae drew a face crying, writing, they hate me. He included, quote, my father, had nothing to do with this. McRae made a list of why he acted out with such violence, writing, I am tired of being neglected, outcast, loner. People hate me. They made me who I am today, a killer. No one noticed me. I don't want to be American African. I am a person. They never accepted me. 10 years since I had sex. The next night, McRae walked onto MSU's campus. Investigators do not believe he targeted anyone he knew. Police say McRae shot and killed Ariel Anderson, Alexandria Werner, and Brian Frazier, and wounding five others. Back here live at MSU, the letter goes on to detail other locations in Lansing and East Lansing that McRae apparently wanted to attack. Now, that included a church, a fast food place, a, a place where he used to work. And Kimberly and Christy, police believe any place where he believed uh, he was slighted, he wanted to go after. But only one reference on that whole letter to MSU. So that remains a question tonight why he decided to come to MSU that night. Back to yeah, you. Really chilling information, Sean. Sean, talk to us about what you're working on for tonight at 6. Well, we're digging deeper into the timeline you mentioned. It's raising some new questions about that. Plus, you also mentioned that 911 map, the flood of calls, and the flood of information coming in on a very chaotic night. Yeah, okay. We'll see you then, Sean. Thank you.